Mary Poppins returns. Yeah. Big moment. He's back, yeah. He's back. And it's and it's about time because it's been 54 years and I feel we need her now. Yeah. We Desperately. Need, well, I feel like we need that ray of hope that she brings out of the skies. You know, she, she comes to sort of light the darkness. And I feel that's very much something we all need right now in yeah. this world. But it's something also that is part of Rob. It's who he is. It's how he lives his life. And he's always been that way. So it's so apropos that you yeah. you were directed us in this movie because thank you john very, it's very kind mm -hmm. now everyone loves the original mary poppins are you guys at all nervous for the world to see mary poppins returns i think i'm actually more excited for them to see it because we paid great respect to that beautiful film that means so much to us that is the most perfect gorgeous film but we wanted to you know, pay this beautiful homage to this stunning film in our film, but at the same time create something completely new, an original new musical. And I will say that people I know that have come sort of come apprehensive, like as I would if I were coming to this and I hadn't anything yeah. to do with it. But I think it, it I hopefully carries the same spirit as that first film and takes us into something completely new. I mean, we spent, I spent three years being nervous about it, as well as everyone. You know, our composers, our costumes, our set. I mean, everywhere, we were, it's huge, huge thing to follow. But now, as Rob said, we are ready and we, we're confident. I think it has so much heart. I want everybody just to come and enjoy it. And, 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 I, and I hope people walk out of the film feeling somewhat more lifted out of their lives with some joy and with some hope. I think it's so important. Yeah. yeah. Now tell me, are there any Easter eggs in the films oh that Lord. we could look forward to? A bunch. A lot. Okay. There's one moment, actually, I'm excited to see her tonight. The original Jane from the first film, who was, I think, eight or nine years yep. old, is has a cameo in our movie. So that's really fun. And I think people will see that. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that to happen it's tonight. Quick, but yeah. She does have a line with Emily Mortimer and Lynn Manuel, and yeah. she asks for an address and then moves on. It's quick, but she's there. She's there are there. a lot of Easter eggs. There That's a lot. Great. Right. Right. Special right. things, things that, you know, we used ourselves as barometers. Like, when could we sort of put a little something special in for people that love the film so much, uh, the first film so much, and, and it, they're in there. That's so great. <laughs> and Dick Van Dyke is back. Oh I mean, what was God. that like bringing him into this film and to work with him? For me and John, I mean, I, I will just speak for me, you can say from you, John, but it was honestly the greatest moment of my life in, in, in film, theater, anything, because that full circle of working with my hero uh, and seeing him basically play the same old banker in this film that he did 54 years ago, I honestly, it was so moving to me. He was so moved that Dick finished doing his scene for the first time and Rob couldn't call cut. He was so emotional, and he was crying. And Emily Blunt's like, he's crying, he's crying. But, I but was, it was so sweet, because he really was, no, couldn't, but I couldn't say the word. No, but it's sort of like tonight. There. Thank you, John. Kisses from women. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know what it is? It's, I feel it tonight, too. There's this full circle that's, I mean, we're standing on Hollywood Boulevard where the first film had its premiere, so it's kind of all surreal.